everyone welcome to the channel again and I'll be showing you today another video of how to use the Excel sheet that are available on the website we'll be showing you today how to price forward uh, contracts uh, in particular uh, for uh, contracts on interest rates which are called uh, forward rate agreements and um, this material appears as uh, part of the derivative section of the level 2 exam the link on the website and uh, the link that like, actually it's available under the video will uh, show you the exact details of how to price uh, forward rate agreement and um, explain to you uh, how, how each formula came into place and uh, how they're used. So basically these formulas that shows you how they were developed. However, for now, I'll just show you a quick overview about it, and uh, you can see over here that um, this is the timeline for a forward date agreement, and it's based on uh, M-Day LIBOR uh, contract. So basically, the, uh, from T to day, uh, H is the expiration of the contract, uh, G is assumed to be any day in uh, between, uh, which we're going to later on see that we will be trying to find the value of the contract on that day after determining the price of uh, the forward date agreement. So basically, uh, the notation of, uh, sorry, yeah, the H and uh, plus M is uh, the expiration plus the M day library. So the day in which you would be uh, having the payoff. So this is when your payoff occurs. And it's again, it's based on the M day library. So yeah. Uh, <clears throat> the rotation of FRA contract is FRA H times H plus M, which means the FRA contract expires on day H, and it's based on M day LIBOR, and the payoff occurs at H plus M. So 3.9, 3 times 9 uh, FRA means that the contract expires in 90 days, which is 3 times 30, and uh, it's based on 180 day LIBOR. So if it's a 3 here, and this is a 3, and this is 9, it means that uh, the remaining period over here is 6 months and 6 months times 30 is 180 so this is uh, just to mention here that the FRA uh, convention is to use the 360 days uh, rather than 365 days and that's why we keep multiplying by 30 rather than actual day count so the forward rate uh, will be determined using this formula and the value will be determined using this formula. I won't be going into details into explaining them because it's going to take uh, time to do so. Again, the whole the entire explanation is uh, in, the, in the reading that's available below the video. Um, would rather just uh, tell you that these are the formulas that will be used in uh, the Excel sheet, which is the main purpose for... Uh, this video to show you how to use the Excel sheets in order to solve or create other problems. So, another D uh, CFA daily trivia, which uh, was uh, about the FRA section. So, uh, in a pricing uh, one times seven FRA contract, the following information is available the 30 day library, 180 day library, 210 day, and the question asks you the FRA rate is the closest to, and you have three uh, options. So if you go over here, there are two files. The one uses the market notation and one uses without the general market notation. Here we list common market notations, 1 times 30, 1 times 4, 1 times 7, 3 times 6, 3 times 9, 6 times 12, 12 times 18. Those are general uh, market notations. However, sometimes you might have uh, a question that doesn't refer to the market notation or that uh, uses another market notation other than the one that's mentioned here. So in that case, you would use this file in which you will mention the H, the expiration day of the FRA contract, and H plus M, which is the days until the maturity, uh, the days in which you will get that payoff. For now, we have it the standard, and then I'll be using the same example in order to solve it non-standard. So, 1 times 7, and here, right away, it shows you that H is 30, and H plus M is 210. And in uh, that case, we have uh, the 30-day uh, LIBOR is 4.4, uh, and the uh, 210 uh, LIBOR is 5.6. And we have the forward rate to be 5.78, and here we go. This is the answer. 10 days later, the following information is available. 20-day LIBOR is 4.35, 170-day 5.20, 210 days is 5.62, sorry, and what's the value of the FRA to the long party? And again, all what you have to do here, make sure that you enter the information, this is 
other than all the other files in which you enter the time uh, as a proportion of a year so in this case it would be 10 divided by 360 or 365 360 yeah so in this case no we'll just enter a 10 because we are doing it as it's telling you here enter it as a days so 10 and here it shows you right away that h minus g is 20 h plus m minus g is 200 so we'll be using the re related libraries so 4.35 and we have over here 5.62 these are the results there was no questions here that uh, uses uh, the non-market notation however we just gonna use the file for the same information so if we do it over here and instead we enter h to be 30 and h plus m to be 210 and we enter the same information we have 4.4 5.6 we are getting the same results and 10 days later and still it shows you 20 200 and then we see 4.35 and 5.62 and we get the same exact results. This is pretty much it about pricing uh, FRA. If you have any question, please make sure to email me on my email on the website. Please make sure to subscribe to our channel and uh, to follow us on the blog in order to get notified about a new post. And make sure to follow us on our social networks in order to be able to participate in the daily CFA trivia. Thank you all for listening and goodbye.